Hi, I'm Janos Wilder, chef and owner of Downtown Kitchen and Cocktails and the Carriage House, both in downtown Tucson. Today we're in the Carriage House where I'm going to show you how to cook with oyster mushrooms. These are from the Sonoran Mushroom Company and they are fantastic. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a fantastic pasta using oyster mushrooms, prosciutto from Italy, Castelvoltrano olives, arugula, all tossed in a pappardelle pasta. I am so excited to make this pasta for you today. This is a great pasta. Well, of course, we're using the Sonoran mushrooms. These are the blue oyster mushrooms. These are delicious. They're organically grown for us here in southern Arizona from the Sonoran Mushroom Company. They're fantastic. So the pasta is an Italian pasta that we're going to be making. So we're going to start with the mushrooms, of course. This is pappardelle pasta. It's a wide pasta. I like the wide pasta for this dish because it really starts to coat the flavors, coat the pasta, and it carries the flavors. I'm going to put in a little bit of arugula. I want a little bitterness in this dish because the mushrooms are so rich. So we've got some fresh arugula. These are Castelvoltrano olives, come from Italy. They're a mild green olive, but they really add a wonderful texture and another depth and layer flavor to the dish. A little grano padano. So grano padano is like Parmigiano Reggiano, but it just comes from down the street from Parmigiano Reggiano. It's a little village down the street. Now this is the co-star. This is the prosciutto. This is the dry cured Italian ham. This is fantastic. They make ham so well in Italy. So we're going to use this. I'm going to tear it into little pieces. It's going to accent the pasta. And then if you like a little hot, which I do, we're going to add a little bit of red chili flake. And of course, you can't cook Italian without garlic. So we're going to have a little garlic in this dish as well. So let's get started. We've got a pan nice and hot. Can't start cooking Italian without some olive oil. So we get a little olive oil in the bottom of our pan. I'm going to take these florets of the mushroom, and I'm not even going to use a knife. I'm just going to take them apart here. I want them big because when you, when you bite into them, I want you to get the texture of the mushrooms. So we're going to start right here. Again, really important, whenever you're sauteing anything, you always want to start with a pan and oil that's nice and hot. If you don't, your food's going to be greasy, so always preheat your pan, preheat your oil in the pan. Mushrooms absorb quite a bit of oil, so we put maybe a little more oil to start this pan than we might for other things that we, we might saute. Um, that's good. The olive oil is so healthy, such a great oil, high in omega-3 fats. It's great for you, so that's good. We're coating these. Then we're going to put in a little bit of garlic here. I love the flavor of garlic in this. And now the aromas start really coming out. So whenever you're working with these mushrooms, you always want to cook them. These are not mushrooms that you want to serve raw. So we're bringing that flavors out of the mushrooms. We're bringing the nutrients out of the mushrooms. They just become great flavor and just so wonderfully healthy for you. Okay, now we're going to add our pasta. So we, this pasta's already cooked. I cooked this earlier today. Just nice and al dente, which means that it's great to, on, your, on your tooth. It means that it's just a little bit firm on your tooth. Now, we're going to start creating a little bit of sauce in here. So I saved the water that I cooked the pasta in. So this is the pasta cooking water here. So it has that flavor from the pasta itself. As that cooks, I'm going to add the arugula to it. And then I'm going to take 
some of this prosciutto and I'm just going to tear it up. I don't want to cook this prosciutto. This is, cooked, this, this is dry, dry cured prosciutto. It's already done. It doesn't need cooking and I, don't, I want to keep it kind of moist. I don't want it to get crisp. One, one of the things that's really prized in this prosciutto, you see these grains of fat in there. That's good. You want that. That carries the flavor. It's just great. This is gorgeous prosciutto. So just tearing it up by hand. Look at that, just so fresh and alive. We're going to put some olives in here, the Castel Voltrano olives. We don't require really any salt because there's salt in the prosciutto, but I want a little pepper. And I also want a little red chili flake. I want to spice this up just a bit. A little bit more of this pasta liquid in here. This pasta cooks so fast. And this pasta is done. All right, so we're going to serve it right in this bowl. The mushroom, I really feel like the prosciutto reinforces the meaty flavor of the mushrooms and brings it out. The arugula and a little bitterness. The olives got great, great texture. We've got a little spiciness from the red chili flakes. And I don't know about you, but I love great Italian cheese on my pasta. So we're going to microplane some grano padano on here. And there you have it. This is so simple to make, so fast to make. These great mushrooms from the Sonoran Mushroom Company, the Blue Oyster Mushrooms, prosciutto from Italy, Castel Voltrano olives, a little arugula, the Papardelle. There you go. Go home tonight. It'll take you about 10 minutes to make this.